Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2023 Ford F-150. This particular F-150 is an XLT model finished in avalanche gray, which is actually a brand new color for the F-150 for 2023. We'll take a quick walk around the outside here, starting with the front end, where we do have these nice LED headlights, which also pairs with the LED fog lights down there at the bottom. Now we do have the XLT Sport Package, which does include this sort of gray accented grille and also the body colored front bumper. We also have two sort of recovery hooks down there at the bottom. And if we come around to the side here with this XLT Sport, we also do have these 20 inch gray painted wheels and that is wrapped in a 275 60 all-terrain tire. This is actually an upgraded sort of wheel and tire setup that's offered with the XLT Sport package. So we do have that equipped here on this particular F-150. We also have the XLT badge in there on the side. And we do have the Power Boost hybrid engine. This is a full hybrid engine. Now that is available on most F-150 trim levels. I'll talk a little bit more about the engine when we hop into the interior portion. We'll take a look at the mirrors. It does feature the mirror spotlight as well as the blind spot system up there in the corner. And this particular F-150 here is a super crew model, which is sort of that full four-door. And we do have the five and a half foot bed. Nice black platform running board down there as well. And we do have the FX4 off-road package indicated by that badge there on the side. Includes things like hill descent control. We also have a locking rear differential, skid plate protection, a bunch of other off-road goodies. And if we come around to the back end here, Part of that XLT Sport package, we do gonna have that body color rear bumper to of course match the front. It also does house the rear parking sensors. And we do have a class four trailer hitch back here. It does include four and seven pin connectors. We also have the rear view camera. Now the tailgate here is soft opening. You can also use the key fob. Well, there's also a button inside. You can use the drop it as well. We do have the optional tailgate step, which does include the tailgate work surface. Now because we do have the power boost engine, it does give us the ability to have the 7.2 kilowatt pro power on board system. Now if you're not familiar with this, this is basically an onboard generator system, giving you over 7,000 watts of usable onboard power. It uses the hybrid electric system to uh, provide a massive, massive amount of outlets back here. All kinds of different outlets. We have a 240 volt, 30 amp circuit, which is a massive plug. And then we also have four additional uh, sort of household style outlets, 20 amp outlets, uh, so again, massive, massive power. And there's also more in, uh, outlets actually in the interior as well. So we have a bunch of outlets we can use. You can plug in tools, appliances, cooking appliances, anything like that. It'll run it no problem at all. We also have LED box lighting and lots and lots of tie down points. And if we take a look at the interior of this F-150, now with the sport package, we do have a unique cloth interior. This is, is the black sport cloth with the console. And the seats here are 10-way power adjustable, both driver and passenger. And they're also both heated. And so they're very, very comfortable. Again, it's sort of an upgrade from the regular XLT seats. And if we take a look at the door panel, we have nice soft touch material all the way around. And we do, of course, have all of the power controls for the windows, mirrors, and of course, our locks right up top. Lots and lots of storage there in the door. We also have all of the lighting controls right here, the, uh, the ta tailgate release. And because we do have the hybrid engine, Ford actually does use an electronic uh, fuel door release. So we click that and that will pop open the fuel door right there. But if we step inside, take a look at the key fob. So we do have a keyless fob, which does include remote start and also the tailgate release on there as well. And push button start. So as I briefly mentioned, we do have the Power Boost hybrid engine. This is a full hybrid engine a system, which basically means you can uh, drive in full electric power alone. So it does use a 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine as the sort of primary source of power, but it does have a 33 kilowatt electric motor sort of built into the uh, transmission. It kind of sandwiches between the engine and the transmission. So the engine was running that whole time and it just kicked on uh, when it requires additional power or if the, uh, the hybrid battery depletes to a certain level, it would automatically kick the engine back on. So it's a very seamless operation. Uh, it's a very smooth transition. You can barely tell the difference when it goes from gas or to electric. This combination makes 430 horsepower and 570 foot-pounds of torque. It is a massively powerful uh, sort of powertrain setup. And again, we do have the 10-speed automatic transmission, again, sort of sandwiched in between that electric motor. 
But we'll start here on this nice premium wrapped steering wheel. We do have cruise control with our lane keeping system buttons sort of right there and also the volume. And then we also have controls right here for the center gauge cluster screen, which gives us all types of different information. We have the trip and fuel information. We also have the truck info, towing, navigation, phone, all your various settings in here. It's a very, very configurable gauge cluster. We also have the hands-free phone and also the track buttons. And right here in the middle, we do have Ford's SYNC 4 12-inch touchscreen display. And we're currently in the audio here, which does include Sirius XM as well as Bluetooth. We also have built-in navigation. And we do have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So it is used wirelessly, uh, wirelessly, which is a little bit more convenient. You don't have to worry about plugging in a cable or anything like that. This also has the power flow, which will kind of show the status of the hybrid system. So right now the engine is on, which it is because of the heater setting. So I do have the heat on, uh, so it will run the uh, the engine just a little bit more if the, the climate control is off. If we back out of there, we also do have all the various vehicle settings in here. We also have the features, which does include that pro power on board. So we can monitor all the pro power on board status through the screen here, or you can also use the Ford Pass app on your phone. So you can monitor all this through here. You don't have to worry about, maybe if you're hooking up your trailer to this, uh, a camper trailer, you can monitor all the statuses from your phone and not have to go into the truck and make sure you're not uh, using too much power. So that's definitely convenient. There's that power flow again. We also have the driver assistance features, towing, all that. There's lots and lots of good information in the screen here. We could talk about this for hours. But on top of the screen, we do have sort of a shortcut button for the Pro Power on board. So if we click that, that will kind of just turn the system on. You don't have to worry about going through any menus or anything like that. We also have the uh, camera. We can turn on the rear camera if we need to. And there's hill descent control. That is included with the FX4 off-road package. And down here, we do have our four-wheel drive. So we have four high as well as four low. We also have the locking rear differential, which is again, also a part of the FX4 uh, off-road package, just like the uh, hill descent control. And right here in the middle, we do have a dual zone automatic climate control system. Heated seats again right there for both driver and passenger, as well as USB-C and USB-A connections. Uh, so we do have hardwired connections right there. And again, the 10 speed automatic. And right here we do have the outlets that I was sort of talking about, just like we do have in the bed. Um, and they're higher power outlets than the uh, sort of non power boost version of these uh, outlets here. So lots of power, 120 volt, 20 amp, which is basically uh, what you would see in your house or maybe even more uh, so there's lots and lots of power there we also have a dual glove box here so there's lots and lots of storage here in the front so if we take a look into the back seat of this f-150 again this one is the super crew which is definitely the most popular and the also the largest cab available for the f-150 um, but again with that sport package we do have the XLT sport cloth seats back here. Nice black sport cloth, very, very comfortable. We also do have the ability to fold these up. So we do have a nice flat load surface so you can easily load things here in the, in the cab that you maybe don't want to put into the bed, tools, pets, whatever that, and whatever you need to do. So it's nice flat storage, uninterrupted floor. Fold this back down. We also do have a set of uh, rubber floor mats. Uh, so the rubber floor liners, so they're kind of cont uh, contoured to the floor so it helps protect the carpet underneath. We also have uh, more outlets back here, of course. USB-C, USB-A, 12 volt, and another one of those household style outlets. Keep everything charged up, no problem at all. We also have some rear climate vents. And again, lots and lots of space back here. So if you're interested in this particular F-150 Power Boost, it is for sale here at McPhee Ford. Feel free to give us a call or you can visit us at mcpheeford.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.